Have you had a moment to look into that little opportunity I told you about on Roseway? You don't hurry up. Someone will get to snooping around there before you do. What do you want, then? for a hard life. Please, would you kindly inform the crew that long chats with Ada are not required every time the captain leaves the ship? We're now in orbit above Roseway, Captain. No guards, huh? I like this place already.
I done had enough of this shit. I'm just the fucking tarmac guard. No one said nothing about fighting no raps. Distress call from here? Shit. They told me that weren't allowed. Got me. I just do what I'm told, and I was told not to do such. Alarms went off, raps broke loose, and I hightailed it in here to get a wall between me and them beasts. What do you think? I'm the landing pad guard. I was standing out on the fucking tarmac. Hell of a job until all this. Anything else you'd like to know? Um, forget I said anything about that. Scientist, name of Anton Crane. Someone said he's panicking inside the comm center. Oh, before I forget, Anti Cleos makes the best pharmaceuticals in Halcyon. Better than nature. Not like that crap Spacer's Choice pedals. I don't have time for this. The ventilation shaft runs from the bottom of the lab to the top of the hill, over the garage. Top of the hill's rafted on territory. Hey, boss, can we get some Rizzo's? I don't think you're supposed to be wandering around. Security's gonna tell you to make tracks. Wanna treat yourself before you go? Something for the road, maybe? Annie Cleo makes the best pharmaceuticals in Halcyon. Did security talk to you yet? I don't really know you. Roseway's supposed to be closed off to visitors. Stands to reason you could be a corporate spy of some sort. Then again, there's nothing in my contract that says I can't sell the corporate spies. Your bits are the same as anybody else's. Sure, not like I get many customers. Technically, I'm not in business at all. 
Roseway closed down years ago. Corporate still sends us the occasional shipment of necessities through unofficial back channels. Of course, if something goes wrong, like one of our guards drinking himself to an early grave or raptodons running wild, corporate won't acknowledge we ever existed. Can't say I do. Any Cleo products satisfy all of our nutritional needs. At least they used to. My folks filled their whole pantry with all sorts of Annie Cleo products. These days, we don't get much in the way of variety. Maybe some tripicale pasta or some ketchup if we're lucky. I hear it's like that all over the colony. We eat what we can get, and we don't get much. I'm so glad you asked. Some people say the name refers to the 17 rungs in Auntie Cleo's official ladder of corporate advancement. These people are wrong. Truth is, we've been established, closed down, renamed, reestablished, and then reopened a grand total of 17 times in the last 40 years. Corporate's still deliberating over a new name. The matter remains hotly contested in committee, but we're expecting a decision within the next five to seven years. Exciting times. I told you, you're staying put. If you've come to end my life, let's be on with it. Oh, not actually one of them, are you? Y yes, yes. Anton Crane, lead scientist here. I must apologize if my call diverted you. I uh, may have panicked. Everything's under control now, though, truth be told. Standard operating procedure for suits, boss. They're all a bunch of cowards. I'm not sure it's right to fault a man for trying to survive. An attack. One that I'd wager was due to the nature of my research here. I'm not at liberty to discuss the nature of the work I'm doing here. Suffice it to say that its importance to me, uh, to the colony, is immeasurable. More often than not, seems I'm the only one who sees the opportunity here. A ticket to the good life once my research plays out. Byzantium. Recognition, money, proper facilities. No more uninspired dolts like my associates here. And might you be the sort of person who's, uh, not averse to risking your life? If the pay were right? Hours ago, a group of vicious malcontents fell upon us. Shot up our labs and loosed our research subjects, the Raptodons. If those Cretans get their hands on my research, well, they'll need not kill me. You have a point there. It most decidedly cannot make the situation any worse. All right, we were tasked with formulating a new and improved dental gel. One cannot exaggerate the benefits of good dental hygiene. May I continue? While doing research on enzymes specific to the Raptodon's digestive system, we developed an additive which we subsequently discovered to be the most effective appetite suppressant ever. Yes, but don't kill the mother if it's avoidable. We've need of her to replenish our stocks. I think there's gas in the lab somewhere that can be used to put them out. The research is in the safe in my office. You'll have need of my code and key card. The lab's entrance is in the side of a hill. You can't miss it if you just follow the road. You'll pass by the town's original... by the Grand Architect. Jameson, he's in the old lab. That would surely lighten the weight on my conscience, as I am held to account for the well-being of every scientist here.
Too many have been lost. Too many black marks against my name, as it were. And far too much paperwork. Of course they do. Please don't mistake my ambition for callousness. If my colleagues refuse to take their lives seriously, why should I? All they do is complain. They refuse to see the opportunity afforded us here. This crane guy cares more about his research than his own people. Am I wrong for looking at this colossal machine of destruction and thinking, Felix, you should hijack that? Captain, I love all the trees. We ought to go places like this more. Look at this place. 
like some kind of tomb. you get over here you care to explain what you're doing here did you miss the big sign outside that I am name's Porter if Doc Crane did send you I'd be glad for the help bad news is we haven't been able to clean these outlaws out of the lab good news is they haven't been able to escape neither For now, I reckon they got no backup. On the other hand, we don't neither. And our mechanicals all went haywire for some damn reason. Damn mechanicals have always been more trouble than they're worth. The garage and the front door are it. These bastards got in through the vent system, but we locked that down. They're not getting back out that way without a security key card. They'd need to take mine. Or make a new one in my office, I guess. Why you want to know that? What for? <laughs> I'll give you points for brass. Can't risk it, though. If you die, they'll take your pass and escape. Who, me? Or you mean the lab in general? I'm in charge of site safety engineering. Most days that means making sure folks don't run in the halls. Most days there ain't nothing to hear but wind, bugs, and the buildings falling slowly to pieces.
Gonna bust it down or Jimmy the lock? Hey, you got it open. I'm gonna guess that all the nothing in that safe isn't what we were expected to find.
reckon it's normal in a lab like this to just leave weapons all over? Or is it just whoever works here? Good. You're not shooting at me. That's a start. It's been a bit of a day, so I'll get to the point. Yes, I have Crane's research. No, I'm not giving it back. Sorry to disappoint you. I suppose it does not matter. Either Crane sent you, or you are some scavenger come to rob me in my moment of weakness. Let's make a deal. I'd like to go on living. You'd probably like to make some money. Help me get out of here, and I will pay you for your trouble. Same reason you are, more than likely. I imagine we picked up the same tip. Secret research facility, abandoned town, minimal security. No, but it is a secret. Well hidden. Off the map. Any place worth hiding is worth raiding. Granted, diet toothpaste is not exactly what comes to mind when I imagine secret research and underground labs. Diet toothpaste. Can you imagine a more pernicious example of corporate materialism? I do not know what is worse. Working here, or dying here. What matters is that I have been lied to. I was led to believe this was a high-priority corporate facility hiding valuable research. This job was not supposed to end with me stuck in some wretched lab smelling like rats. So I would be very much obliged if you gave me a break. You mean other than the satisfaction of doing me a good turn? Trust me, I'll make it worth your while. I am good for my word. You will be equitably rewarded on my honor. But I will not haggle or bargain with you until you help me. The first thing I need is a key card to unlock my door. Then I'd need you to clear me a path out of here. There are two ways out. The quickest is through the front door, but Cleo Security's bottled up in there. If you don't want to shoot them, I suppose you could talk to them. The other way out is through the loading bay. But you'd have to clear out the wraps for me. Then I could just slip out the back, sight unseen. Because Crane is a tool. Because no good deed goes unrewarded. Because doing me a good turn is the honorable and decent thing. Take your pick. Crane is being used by Auntie Cleo. And now he is trying to use you. So what does that make you? Fair. But while I may be trapped for the moment, those scientists are trapped in corporate slavery for the rest of their sad, sorry little lives. Don't you see? I am setting these people free. I am doing them a favor. Won't you do me one in return? I do not want charity. I will put something pretty in your palm for your trouble. You have got my word on that. Would you rather run errands for a corporate puppet like Crane? Listen, you are being used. Look around you. This colony is lousy with people like him. Shallow men with shallow lives. Dreaming of nothing nobler than the next promotion. 
By helping him, you are helping the corporate hegemony exercise their stranglehold on the colony. Not that I expect a hired gun to understand. I prefer freedom fighter, but I will not quibble over semantics. Come on now. Do you want to be dull and boring and servile like everyone else? Or do you want to break some rules? You might be the first stroke of luck I've had all day. Thank you. I'm in your debt. Ask away. I have got nothing but time. I have been asking myself the same question. Our tactics were sound, but no battle plan survives contact with the enemy. We were acting on a good tip, but the tip never mentioned the wraps. When we hit the lab, those wraps got loose, tore through as many of ours as theirs. I don't have time. out of sight. Look at that. <laughs> Those idiots got themselves a mama wrapped to done.
I would ask what was on your... Here they come! I've never been so pleased at the sight of an open door. Please tell me you've cleared a way out of here. So you have. I am much obliged. And now, if you do not mind, I have had quite enough of this wretched place. Oh, really? And why, pray tell, would I do a thing like that? Your point is well taken. I would rather not spend the rest of my days looking over my shoulder for the shadow of my headhunter. Here, take the damned research. Tell Crane I hope he chokes on it. Good. I never trust a freelancer who works for free. Orphans. Is that what you are calling yourself now? Here. Let it never be said that I do not reward good work. Here they come!
Oh, that's the last of him. That's a good week of work just to get the engine to turn over. You reckon that's how the bad guys got there? You've returned. What news? Please tell me you've recovered my research. Without my work to focus on, I find myself tending towards darker paths of inquiry. My research? Please tell me you've recovered it. That's... You can't possibly understand the enormity of what you've done for me. Did you find my colleague, Jameson? Well, please keep me apprised of your progress as to that matter. I suppose you've earned it. It's highly illegal to have brought the Raptodons to Terra too. The research done on them before Monarch was left to the dregs was too promising to just abandon, so here we are. You've not much idea how these things work, do you? If Auntie Cleo could be connected to what we're doing here, they'd be ruined. Everyone skirts the law looking for an edge, but the ultimate sin is to be exposed. Plausible deniability is everything. I suppose you've earned it. I grew up in a Spacer's Choice Township, my own personal pit of despair. Test marks were high enough, so I set to becoming a scientist. But I didn't relish returning when my studies were done. I'd no desire to spend my life finding better ways to churn out worthless goods. My fellow spacers looked upon it as a betrayal, but I longed for substance, meaning. Toothpaste is about making people's lives better, preventing pain. Plus, it was a means to an end. Fear, jealousy, belief in the grand plan. No one is meant to seek an improvement to their lot in life, though everyone would were they only given the chance. <laughs> 